All right, so I know that we already, I already made a video, and I believe it was IED, uh, where was it? It was down here, uh, 11, 16, 17. I think that's when I did it. Uh, explaining how to create a drawing in Onshape. So um, I'm going to kind of review that process right now and show you a couple of things that uh, might be interesting to you and helpful. So I'm just, I'm just going to pull up one of my drawings. Well, I thought I was just going to pull up one of my drawings. All right, and I'm going to delete all this. I'm just going to delete all of this so that we can start from uh, scratch here. So when you have your part open, or actually, I'll just pull up my part right here. So this is the part I'm going to use to, to sh show you this example. So let's pretend you don't have a drawing created yet. So from your part studio, you click the plus sign. It isn't here because I already have a drawing. You click the plus sign, create drawing. And then what you're going to do is choose a template. Now, I told you that I wanted you to choose an A size template. Um, the A size template comes in inches or it comes in millimeters, but that's not really a big deal because you can always change your units if you, you pick the wrong template. So I had some questions about scaling and um, I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of try to answer those questions. So I'm going to start over here and place my view. I got to search because, um, okay, so this is going to be my part that I'm going to put in. Now, notice here, right here in this window, there's a scale. All right, there's a scale right here in the window. That's how it's going to, that's the scale that's going to be used to input this drawing. That means that every dimension um, is going to be represented half size. Because if I put this in at one to one, it would probably be too big. So let me go ahead and do that just, just for fun. Okay, we'll put it into one to one. Okay, um, so I'm going to click on this guy right here and see what happens. I don't have room. Now, someone asked me, well, should I just pick a B size drawing? I'd rather you stick to the A size drawing and scale it down. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. So obviously this is this is too big. And I also want you to understand down here is also also represents the scale that you input your drawing. So if you change the scale in your drawing, you need to change it down there as well. So let's go ahead and change this scale right here. I mean, it will usually pick the scale that will fit on your drawing, but I purposefully changed it to being too big. So what you can do is right click on the view and go to view properties. And right here is your scale. Now this says one to one. That's how I put it in there. But also, the word sheet, the sheet there means it, it's going to apply to everything, not just one view, which is what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and change that back to one to two. Okay, that's actually looks really small to me now, but that's all right. That's that's uh, how it was in there originally, I believe. So I want to show you that. Come on, you move over. No, you be there. Let me move over here. Uh, once you, if you've changed the scale in your drawing, you've got these little labels down here that tell you what the scale is. I would delete those. They're not necessary because the scale is shown in the title block and they just could kind of get your drawing confused. So what we're going to do is go down here to the title block and make sure we change that because now that's one to two. So we've got to change that. It was one to one. I've got to change that to one to two. 
so that the scale on the title block matches your drawing. Okay, so uh, that's how you can change the scale if you want to. Um, the dimensions, when you dimension your part, if the scale is 1 to 2, and I, if I put a dimension in here, that is the actual dimension. Uh, I have the wrong units on here, I think. I'm not sure, but it, it doesn't matter right now. But that is the um, correct size of the part. On the drawing, it appears half that big. That's what 1 to 2 means. It appears half that big. So let me go back to my part, and I want to double check these units. Uh, and they are inches. Okay. So let's go back to our drawing. And let me make sure those units are inches. Okay, and then also over here on this side, your drawing properties, my units are inches. Now, I have a precision. That's interesting. It should, it should be showing three decimal places, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that right now. All right, so another thing that I want you to do, and I think this is on the other video, is I want you to shade your isometric view. So you right click and you're going to go uh, show shaded view, shade your isometric view, and then on all these other views you're going to show the hidden lines. Show hidden lines. Sometimes there aren't any. Show hidden lines. Okay, and show hidden lines. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Click the wrong thing. To click down lower. Okay, so um, there are no hidden lines on the front view. Um, there's one on the right side that represents this little notch right here, which if you're looking at this from the right side, that's invisible to you, but that's why that's there. And then also the same thing with these notches. If you look at this view from the top, you can't see this cutout, but this view shows that cutout. So last class I talked about the steps to dimensioning each of these. Now, um, I also want to show you, once you start dimensioning, let's say, let's say this is supposed to be two and a half inches. And let's say you put that dimension in there and, well, let's, let's say it's supposed to be uh, two inches. Let's, let's say it's supposed to be two inches, okay? And you put the dimension in and it says two and a half. And you're like, oh wait, that's wrong. I have to go fix my part. What you can do is you can just go directly into the part studio and find the place where you created that dimension. Uh, it may be sketch one. Let me open sketch one. And then you can adjust. I'm going to change this to, I guess it would be 1 if I wanted to change it. I'm going to change this to 1. And then you see that it messed up because that, that's wrong. But I'm just showing you what happens when you change your part. You go back into your drawing. This little symbol right here is your update symbol. When this is highlighted, that means you've made a change to the part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that orange button and that will automatically update your drawing. Okay, so now you can see it looks weird, like I, like I changed it. So I'm going to go back to my part and I'm going to fix it. I'm going to open that sketch again and put it back to where, what it's supposed to be, which was one and a half. And then finish that. And then go back again into my drawing. 
And notice it didn't change this dimension. I, I It would have changed it if it was over here, but this dimension remains the same. That's why it didn't change when I, when I created this. But now I'm going to update again. And now it's back the way it was. So uh, if you have, when you dimension, if your dimensions are wrong, I mean, if you're doing inches, you should, all of your dimensions should be in multiples of 0.25 because all of these model creations are made with um, either millimeters, and those are going to be in whole units, or um, uh, multiples of 0.25. So you can always go back and change your part and then update your drawing. And um, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, oh, and I also uh, fixed the submission because somebody alerted me to the fact that um, I forgot to put a website uh, URL in there for part three, 3.4 part three. So 3.4. All right, so what this is, um, is part one. That's the one where you just uh, label the drawings with errors. Part two is dimensioning your four um, isometric parts that you made in model creation and part three is creating drawings okay I'm sorry this was the one that we did um, uh, by hand by hand so you you have to do that by hand and take pictures and then this is the one where you're going to dimension the drawings that you made so and these are dimensioning guidelines down here if you want to take a look at those but what I was saying is this assignment right here, I forgot to add a website URL so you couldn't submit it. So now it's there. All right. I think that covers pretty much everything. So let me stop this recording.